Hello and welcome back to our 24 guys. How are you all doing? I hope it's a nice morning. I think my chicken just told you it's morning. <laughs> it crawled. I, I don't know if you had it. If you had it, please let me know in the comment section, guys. My name is Eunice, and yes, if it's your first time here, please make it a point to subscribe, share, and let me know what you think about our videos here in the comment section, guys. So I'm going to make some breakfast for ourselves, and so I decided to share this with you. The chicken again. Oh my god. So right here is just flour. This is all papa's flour some water here and some cooking oil right here and right here is salt and that is the only thing i'm going to add in this chapati guys i'm going to make chapati i know different people add different things in the chapati but this is how we make it in my village here so guys straight away uh without wasting time let's make the dough <laughs> so i'm going to add in some flour here something fell in it i'm going to add in the flour So flour, then I do that some salt, just a bit. So I mix this to make it uniform. So guys personally i prefer to add in some oil there's a way i feel it softens like the chapati comes out really soft so i add in some oil in the flour before even i add any water let me know how you add your oil or if you don't add oil in yours but for me i choose to do this and i make sure it's much because it makes the chapati really soft so not too much again i, I hope you noticed so i just mix this a bit let me know what trick you use to make your chapati soft. For me, that is what I do. I add in some oil as I mix the dough. Okay, when it's uniformly mixed, bring in the water. At this point, you need to be careful, especially when you're at my... <laughs> you notice that my flour is done. Hmm? So you need to, I need to be extra careful, actually. Because if not, I might end up adding a lot. So at this point, you really be, need to be careful and make sure you don't add a lot of water. But if you have extra flour with you, well and good, you can be safe. Like you can add in more flour to save you. But when you're like me right now, mm, Jabati might just end along the way. <laughs> so I'll keep adding the flour as I as I mix. So guys, it looks like I did a perfect <laughs> mixture. As I think you notice when there's nothing down here, like it's properly clean. And when you mix your dough and it's not sticky, it means you've done it well. So guys, I managed to work it out with the, <laughs> with the flash shortage here. So at this point, when it's perfectly uh, mixed like this, I'm just going to leave it in this bowl here of mine for about uh, like 30 to 45 minutes. So let me put it here and you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to cover it like this and leave it there so let me leave this here and be working on the fire all right guys so as you can see this is soft just been touching it a bit like this but it's soft enough so what we are going to do is to um I'm 
I'm going to sprinkle here some. You'll bear with me the noise. There's some people walking around here on the compound. And also there's someone cleaning for me the kitchen. So that's why I'm actually cooking out. The cleaning was actually done this morning. So you could have been wondering why is he going out today? <laughs> My little sister is cleaning the kitchen. So I'm just okay, this depends on to your preference. I just prefer them not so big, so I'm putting it at that size. So each bowl that I make, that is already one chapati. So I sprinkle this flour to avoid sticking. I could be wondering. I'll keep this for testing. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and make the fire. And I don't need uh, like excessively hot fire. That's the reason I'm using these small pieces of firewood. So this little girl here will help me in setting the fire. As I start rolling. I also put this flower here to avoid sticking. Put this aside the fire points. Be careful with the shape. <laughs> There's a way uh, when someone makes chapati, they take pride in the shape they make. So personally, anyway, I'm, thinking, I'm talking about myself. I take pride in the shape of the chapati that I make. So you be careful when you're making and make sure when you're serving, it's not ugly. <laughs> it's neat, like properly round. wait for the fire it's almost that's why she's struggling to make it hopefully that one works so i don't need a lot of fire and that's the reason you see me putting a little firewood Well, there we go. And for me, I choose to cover it, eh? so I just make sure I fold it and keep it here in a warm place and I cover it with my towel just to keep it warm and not to dry up because of the wind. It's really windy here.
and here we are guys i just made our chapati so we're going to have tea for breakfast with this black tea and of course if you're new here please make it a point to subscribe and make sure you also try this recipe for chapati that i just showed you you're surely going to love it very easy and simple just like you saw me doing it guys thank you very much for watching about i'm going to take some tea